Hi, my name's Johnny, and today we're taking a look at the Ibanez TMB100. First off, don't forget to hit subscribe and like to see more videos coming your way very soon. TMB stands for Talman Bass, and Talman referring to the body shape, which they do in guitars, which I think they've discontinued doing now. They're just doing the Yvette Young signature model. The TMB100 is one of Ibanez's entry-level basses above the TMB30, which is a cheaper, short-scale version. This is made in Indonesia, this bass. Um, not Chinese made or anything like that. So it should be on par with kind of Squires. I don't know if country of manufacture really makes a difference anymore, um, just depending on what factory it's actually in. Now over the years, they've done all sorts of different colors in the TMB 100 and the Sunburst was quite a limited run or tri-fade burst, whatever they want to call it. I could only find it in the UK new in two or three different places. So I got this from PMT for 200 pounds new. When you look at what this bass has and how it looks, that is a steal. You've got a PJ configuration and an active preamp on board with a treble boost and cut. Originally it came with this taut pit guard. Didn't really dig how bright this red was and against that sunburst. I commissioned Tim at gig.inc, favorite service ever. I commissioned him to make me a custom mint pit guard. It did an amazing job and it looks stunning now, I think. But of course, it's not all about looks. Machine heads, great. No issues whatsoever. Keeps the thing in tune. They feel nice and sturdy. I like the offset look of the Talman head. Ooh, I like it. Bridge, no issues there. I was able to set the intonation, no problem. Fret edges as well, no issue whatsoever. The setup out of the box wasn't great, so I've sorted it out to my liking. But before we get into my overall thoughts, let's take a listen to what it sounds like.
I'll pop in the cards up here a link to my recent unboxing of this base where you can see my first impressions. Within there, I thought that the neck felt nice and sanded down, but a bit sawdusty, like it was a bit unfinished. The width of the neck gets slimmer as you go up, but the fatness of it and the shape of it feels mostly the same as you go up. When you're getting down to the lower frets, it feels, it feels a bit odd to me. It feels like my hand is arching over a bit too much. Even though my SXP base has a wider neck, I find that more comfortable to play. Now, like I said, it's not gloss on the back, it's all sanded down, so it's really fast and easy to play in that regard. You might have seen in some of the footage that missing the stacked volume and pickup blend knob. Here are those knobs. These knobs don't come off easily. So if you want to customize this, you have to be really careful in what you're doing. I had to get the handle of a spoon, put it in between the knobs and kind of prise them off to get it off because there was no way I could just pull it off by myself. I had to really prise it off. Um, first time I did that, it was fun. Um, I wanted to get a before and after video for Instagram. Go and follow me out at Johnny Dibble. And so I put it all back together and I went to take it apart again to put it back with the mint guard and I'm squeezing, I'm squeezing, I'm pushing, I'm... Oh! Shit. The volume knob snapped off completely. Now, I completely take responsibility. That was me probably being too aggressive or maybe it was at too much an angle. But I wouldn't have thought that it should have snapped off that easily. And now it's truly buggered because it's stuck. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that on the camera. The volume pot is stuck inside of that now. And now thank the Lord, it snapped off with the volume on full. <laughs> um, if it was on low, then the bass would have been completely useless. I wouldn't have thought this would affect the way it sounds. Of course it doesn't, but that brings me on to the active preamp. I don't like it. So the electronics may be a bit cheap. Um, I don't really like the bass boost on here, it's just too much. You would have heard it is overloading and yeah, I could turn the volume down if I could turn the volume down to make up for that. I feel like it's just too much on there. Both of them have got a notch so you can set it in the middle and um, so it's not boosting or cutting, it's just flat. And that's where I liked it the most, maybe with the treble up a little bit. I never really found a sound which I was really digging from the bass. I'm not a fan of these pickups. The edges are so sharp. If you're playing hard with a pick, or want to rest your finger on there, it is not going to be comfortable. Highly recommend changing out these pickups if you've got this base as a project. And I think this is a great foundation for a project. Personally, what I would do, completely rip out the electronics and run this passive, maybe with some Seymour Duncan Court Pounder PGA set. I think that would be really cool. Um, maybe keep the stacked volume and tone for the two volumes and then just have a master tone. I think that's what I might do to this bass. I think this bass shines most in a mix. Arguably, that's where it needs to shine the most. Let me know what you think of the Ibanez TMB100. It's a very popular bass. I'm sure many of you out there have had one of these or have one of these right now. I know a few listeners um, swear by the Talman series and I think it's a great series. I think that it suits a certain kind of player and a certain kind of sound. It definitely has. I can hear elements of this of the Ibanez signature sound. Is that for me? I don't know. I had the Ibanez TMB 600, I think it was, 
kind of the higher end Talman series one. Blah, 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 blah. One with the Nordstrom pickups. Great sounding pickups, great sounding bass. I don't know what it was. I just didn't gel with it. And it's this indescribable thing, which I always say about the feel and how it makes you feel, blah, 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 blah. But it's so true. <laughs> and the same again, I don't know what it is. This bass, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting that feeling where I want to pick up and play it. Um, when I went to go and make this video, I actually found it a bit of a chore. I was like, I'm not really jazzed about this. And I think it's just not for me. And I'm not sure what my plans are with it yet. My conclusion, go and check one out. If you like the way it sounds and you like Ibanez basses and you're looking for a first bass or something to mod, then yeah, go and check this out. Um, you might be pleasantly surprised. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Thank you.